Hey. Aloy. I hope all is well enough under the circumstances. I'm holding up. Good. It must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. I should get going. Back to my training then. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? What was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. According to this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me. While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, 
a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? 
I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. you want to punch something more like someone well, you're the one that helped me find it people make mistakes Aloy uh, it's everything all right it, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while yeah everything's fine I guess well okay uh, what, what can I do for you I see someone's been playing strike I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Catalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, uh, sure. Tanakh. Sure he won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Do I smell... ale? I brought some over from Chainscrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, that's half the fun. Now, uh, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. Hey, got a sec? Of course. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. How's training? Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I had thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding, any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. 
We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda the Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from, like you've done here for us. Maybe one day more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. The Zeniths did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. I should get going. Good luck on your search. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations, and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Duly noted. 
Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as Selfbrush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. I just, uh, wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. And look, about earlier, forget it. Was there anything else? So have you been able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code. Increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well Keep at it, I guess So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but it's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training inter- So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing. I'll be going. Okay. Bye. Going down!
I see you, champion. Sit, please. I hear that Osiram Caravan down south is settling in nicely in our territory, bringing in all kinds of supplies from no man's land. They'd better hope our commander doesn't decide to supply them with a swift death instead. I'm sure there's more important things on your commander's mind. Maybe I should check up on Porgif and his crew, see what they're up to. You shouldn't miss this chance to trip. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid? You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics! The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Oh. That's a lot of data. Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. What drew you to this place in particular? Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the west, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah! Well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas. The first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous than seafood trays. You can be so boorish. Somebody's got to pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. 
I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Oseram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance, unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. You're back! Those machines didn't do you any harm, did they? I haven't dealt with them yet. I needed to ask you something first. I'll get going then. We're on to something big, as sure as the sun sets. Just what we needed. A reason to stay in this sun-forsaken place. I should go to that dig site Gendis mentioned. Clear out those machines and look for any clues on this mobile cover system. These must be the machines that Gandalf and Rashavid were talking about. Doesn't look like the plasma will do much damage. The overall provider, so I should be able to use it.
clear. Doesn't look like there's much here. But these ruins drop into the water. Better check them just to be sure. I should take a look at the ruins under the water. See if I can find any clues. Find something down here. An access key. It's a Horus, Hanon. Just broke through the perimeter. Erica, the mobile cover prototype is in the vault. All three keys are required to override the lockdown. Can you bring me the one from your security console right away? Okay. Just don't get killed before I get... Erica? Erica! Sounds like I need three of these keys to get to the mobile cover system. There's coordinates for another console on file. I should check it out. Mentions of the nuke. They had visions after drinking machine oil. Sounds familiar. Guess it didn't work out for these also. I might trade for something good.
coordinates I got from the console I found. Which means there should be somewhere around here. Acid ammo could help here. Giving up.
Well, that'll keep me awake. Another console. security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another horse! Someone call in that goddamn airstrike! Another access key that never got to this prototype. There's coordinates for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. this. Coordinates I found lead here. There's got to be another one of those consoles around. Outside, Doc. Don, thank God. The mobile cover prototype is locked in the vault. I need all three keys to open it, including yours. Nope. VP rank means I've got a golden ticket to Elysium. If you want that key, come back and get it your... Uh-oh. Well, Don was a real charmer. It's typical for Pharaoh, I guess. That's three access keys. And... Another set of coordinates. Maybe they were really intended to be in the first place.
I think I can pry my way through those rocks. Looks like a facility used to be here. This place got hit hard. The vault mentioned in the recordings should be in here somewhere. I just have to follow the coordinates. Do I have anything that can hit it with bridge water? to get to the vault.
It's always good to have extra. This looks promising. I'm guessing this was Hernan. This must be the vault mentioned in the data I found. I should be able to access it. Gendos found. I don't want to know what happened here. Machine strong against frost armor. and forging do not guarantee success. Brewing ale does. What's wrong with your knee? Walked past Thurless old shop and tripped over one of the stupid idea. wires. Whoa! What if it's not? I come back to reclaim. You've returned. You 
found something, didn't you? Come now, don't just keep it to yourself. It's, um, difficult to explain. Please, I... I just want to understand as much as I can. Definitely not a tray cover. The old ones fought a massive battle here against machines. Some fled, but others stayed behind to try to salvage this, to help others carry on the fight. Did they survive? So, they failed. It made it into the hands of the most renowned warrior in the Sundom, did it not? And every item we recover will be used to ensure their memory lives on. I didn't see any machines at the dig site, so yes, I suppose that is true. I'll need that tray and your workbench. I'll have to tinker with this to turn it into something I can use. Of course, Savior. It's the least we can do. May the sun light your way, as you have illuminated ours. Let's take a look at this thing. Wait till the scholars hear about this. We'll go down in the history books. Feels right. Time to test it out. What you think? Wicker breastplates for the band? Yeah. 